Hello everyone, my name is Pramod and now today we have our tricks uh, first lecture video. So in this video we will you we will uh, know how to or tricks uh, make a dynamic filter right and uh, before I go these thing uh, let me show the source data file where the board where the the or tricks will uh, create a filter in particular column. So I have a uh, text input box. Is it not text? Is input data? And I have a text input box. You can use in a you, you can use uh, a file instead of the text input, right? So uh, you can see the source file is something like we have a path. And let me open the file directly. This is the path where I return the given the path. And just double click this file. I will provide all these things in my uh, description, right? So you can see we have a bunch of data, right? And uh, we are filtering zip code base. So we have a one file where we have a zip file, zip code only, one particular column, and we have a source uh, file where we have a particular uh, bunch of column in this source file right so I'm just closing this file so uh, right now this is the alteryx file uh, alteryx file is basically a yxdb file and uh, we can use also uh, xls uh, csv or notepad or all other things so which uh, are supporting uh, in our tricks right so now I just uh, drag this uh, input data in here and given the part of the that file so you can see all the data has been loaded in here right uh, this is the file where uh, no uh, uh, fill the, so these zip uh, this zip uh, id i need to filter you can uh, write this zip id in a text box or you can provide the file so in a file if you uh, in a file let me open the excel file so how you will so that will be also the dynamic so you just need to mention zip need to be proper column name and then provide the zip id to whatever zip id is there right and once this done then you can close this or uh, save this file in a where uh, uh, whatever you want to save that file once this is done, then you provide this zip file in here and we can connect this one in this uh, summarize tool, right? So I just uh, use <coughs> input or uh, text input and I given the all the zip ID in here, right? I use a batch macro in here. So make sure whenever, so let's take I create a macro and I create a workflow. So this workflow is, I mean, this uh, macro is supporting this uh, workflow. If I sending this workflow and as well as the macro file, make sure those uh, both file in a particular one for one file, one, one particular uh, folder location. So then the, my uh, macro will work. So you can see I have a dynamic filter back uh, backup name. I given the backup name. I and uh, this is a macro file. This is a workflow file. So this is the both file in a one folder. Now I back to my uh, alteryx canvas, right? <coughs> Before I explain this tool, let me go with the macro. How the macro is going on? So macro is nothing. The macro is a simple one step. Uh, workflow so I will create a video in a letter once this is done and I would like to your comment all I mean like comments and share and video then no so if you guys uh, interesting in this uh, uh, my video then I can uh, keep learning and keep uh, teaching to you all guys so uh, here uh, I created batch macro so batch macro so this is the input file this is the input section for macro so uh, we have a two way either we can provide the text input or either we can provide the file input so i provide the file input the customer name this is for the this is for only the example the customer uh, file which i just shown to as earlier right and uh, some kind of parameter i said is this is action button so how the action button work i will give a letter this is a brief not brief uh, in a macro macro i will brief and i will create a uh, i will create a video in a letter so once uh, 
my video will be successful right and uh, so you know this is a filter section so you just uh, sell, um, I mean uh, which column this is gpid column what you want to filter I just written in a single code right and this is the output folder right and uh, this is control parameter where you know, the value will be changed so you can see the place a specific string and those these string will be replaces <coughs> so once this <coughs> macro has been saved now I go back in this my uh, actual canvas see uh, we have a bunch of zip name in here so we have right now 10 zip name which I which we want to do filter we can do by one by one but we are using batch macro so this will take only the one sort so <clears throat> what is the trick in here uh, we need a zip so let me explain this or let me copy would be copy or not how the summarize tool is working in here hmm. so uh, <clears throat> so uh, so you can see these are pipe these are pipe you can call it pipe so data is flowing like this and do some kind of quirk in here then data is flowing like this so i will take i will tell you summarize so uh, my final output which all the my zip number will go in this macro how is going on so if i go so i need like 2802 comma sorry in uh, single quote then comma uh, single quote 2 eight zero four single quote comma uh, single quote two eight zero six single quote comma and like this till end right so i need convert these uh, record in this uh, particular one cell first my first step is a uh, summarize tool so i use summarize tool where i use uh, you can uh, you can see in a ribbon transpose and summarization summarize so I drag this tool in track tools we have a list of column number so right now I have only one column so I drag this column in here and I use uh, in a concat concat it means uh, I think this should be part of a string so concatenate right and concatenate uh, you can see start and so either I can use uh, double code or either I can use single code it doesn't matter so I this <coughs> so every record would be start and this would be end then after uh, start and then end right so if I select click this in here sorry in here so this is a bracket so I need also we need also bracket that it will be last bracket and you can see all the recorded all the item has been converted in a uh, double quote so you can see star double quote and then uh, first record close uh, double quote and comma and blah 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 so i need uh, so we need to uh, open bracket and close bracket right so this so we use formula so all the uh, this this all the record go like this in this macro right so in macro we have a control we use a control parameter so if I go control parameter so this is a expression expression it means which column we want to do replace on that right so I use this column so this we have a this formula and we have a output column that would be expressions right and this is our source file so okay so now I, I go back to the macro canvas so you can see we have zip column and make sure the column name should be uh, same so this would be not different and we have one particular this uh, filter so now uh, we use control parameter in our action that would be update the value so this would be replace all these thing from from this so all the record will go in this macro and then macro will go in this filter and replay and then action this action this control parameter we have a list of record and action the action part would be the action work 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 with we replace or entire replace this thing for 
which uh, we created through the macro right and this is our this this would be our filter criteria right and then uh, once the filter has been the true value would be go in our outputs area so this is a simple nothing to any uh, no uh, taking long time so how is the macro going on so once you will uh, uh, click one and see how difference going on so you can see also we have result like this so first the summarize go like this and then we I use formula use for not creating a start bracket and end bracket so once this is done then we have a browse folder so let me run this one so you can see uh, we have a browse folder and all the zip name only the zip name uh, I, uh, I have those recorded which I given in a filter criteria right so um, so this is my first video and do let me know if you interested in this video then I will let create it uh, in a regular video on Alteryx basis so I will start go in in out preparation join transport interface developer I'm also learning in the Alteryx so I have uh, around uh, uh, 8 and 10 project has been closed in Alteryx so I'm working in some my own nation so I using Alteryx on daily basis so uh, I'm also work, uh, learning these tools how is our tool is working on so also uh, fetching data from web part and XML working JSON work and uh, regus tools like search and all this thing so uh, this is my first video please uh, do thumbs up and also subscribe my channel so then I will create a more more video and uh, please uh, uh, please uh, motivate me <laughs> then i can create and share my knowledge to you all please yep thank you thank you